Hi, I'm Sullivan and welcome to the second episode of Crisis Remastered Glitches and Tricks. In today's material we will focus on curiosities, discoveries and errors or mistakes in Mission 3 Relic. Why I'm not moving to Mission 2? Uh, because I didn't find enough books per episode there. There were, but uh, these are literally meaningless mistakes. In the future I will search again, but so far I'm going through the mission one by one. Without prolonging it, let it start. Surprise, I'm back. Oh shit, here we go again. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 The Mission Free Relic is one of the maps with a specific climate. Uh, there is a lot of vegetation and its des density, but also local roads, patrols and military bases. Although this mission has enormous potential, it is extremely quick to pass. Gameplay is no different from Crisis 1. What is worth nothing, we find more of the same pattern uh, when it comes to units. But in some cases their behavior has changed. A truck that actually goes headlong behaves as if it wanted to stop in front of an obstacle, but at the same time keep going, rags to a collision in front of him. First, what you must do is watching from for him. Uh, this helicopter looks like it is using advanced maneuvers. You can see that Koreans use different tactics and advanced maneuvers. <laughs> typical Korean soldiers. This helicopter looks like it's ganked like a League of Legends jungler. Then when we get closer it will attack us. For now it's just running. You see? <laughs> Very different. Of course, there were some changes and shortcoming compared to Crisis 1. No vehicle coming from the cemetery which we encountered in Crisis 1 on the way to the evacuation point. If we position the truck or the other vehicle currently, there is a good chance that a respawning Korean soldier will get stuck in it after the cutscene when we try to save Dr. Rosenthal. However, this is one somehow found itself in between. A big deal compared to the craziest one guy. I tried to recreate 
uh, the blast in my first funny moment from Crazy Swan. But as you can see, the blast is much less spectacular. Maximum strength. Maximum armor. Maximum strength. Maximum armor. Okay. Now I'll show you Crazy Swan Blast. Collision between vehicles and props still poorly developed. I almost explode by moving these bars or crates. You see, I take damage. Shit. If you want to move, lift or even destroy buildings, just do the following. First, find some pro big prop that you can carry in your hand. Now you can see I can destroy these uh, tower quartz. Observation tower which cannot be smashed with maximum strength. Find this big prop. Crouch, bend and look down and camera up. You see? It works. I will use in the, in it in my future fields. Interesting is the artificial intelligence of the Korean special forces is high. They are very aggressive. They try to follow us during the fight and they have the goddamn aimbot that shoots very accurately regardless of the difficult level. On Delta this is dead when AI these special forces can individual comes to close and kill you. Sorry for my bad English. <laughs> Another thing that surprised me was North Korea Special Forces units equipped with nanosuits. Interestingly, the tranquilizer ammunition does not work on them. In Crazy Swan, we could safely use it on them to gain time and peace of mind. Unfortunately, in Crazy Remastered, that also changed. We also meet the already no invisible wall for vehicles which blocks access to the landing sign for the VTOL. It is also worth knowing that when it comes to vehicles uh, that cannot get from behind this invisible wall, it also applies to boats. I pushed the boat all the way to the cemetery and unfortunately it cannot be delivered in there either. Blockade protection from the creators of which at least so far I have not broken. In the future I will try to deliver big props but I will have to go through this mission again. I will make another follow up episode of, the, of it sometime. What is Nomad doing while his teammates are waiting for him? And finally, for desert, throwing props and people into the veto. What is worth knowing does not reject us when no we man, throw them in, here. which we are ready was to extract. Extract. This is one. 
but you can barely draw incorrect soldiers. However, the first what you must do is transport some props to the cemetery. What is worth knowing does not reject us when we throw them in, which was the case in Crisis 1, but you can barely throw in Korean soldiers. Whether it's alive or dead is the blockage. The living are better because you can throw them inside, but they get buggy and often die. There is no big problem with props. Someday I will book this guitar and the prop cutscene in the last moment in this video. I hope you liked the episode. Leave a thumbs up or down, a comment to share your opinion about my movie and would you prefer when I tell in English no man, or in do as it was extract. in the first episode of the Greatest Master of Jason Tricks. We see you in the next materials. I hope you enjoyed this video, take care, see ya. name I see you heard about profit I'm actually gonna miss the bastard you believe this mess looks like Chester wasn't so crazy after all I'm into that <laughs>